Hello, my name is Rubir and I play in Tosca and Dorje. We just played with Tosca on the ARC stage at ARC Tangent 2017, which was incredible. So I'm here to talk about my guitars. Uh, I have a signature model guitar with Chapman guitars, and that is what I'm holding here. This is the ML3 beer in a smoke finish. This is brand new for this year. Uh, and I've been very fortunate to design two guitars with Chapman now in the time I've been with them. So it's really, really cool. So I'll breeze over the spec of this one and then show you my old one as well, just for the sake of a bit of history. So this is, in a lot of ways, it's similar to the other guitar, but things like the Alder body, it's a two piece Alder body, which is painted black. Uh, there's a five mil uh, Canadian flamed maple top, which is really, really nice, really love it. And I just think the, the, the top itself is really, really nice, flame top. Um, Paduke neck, it's a three piece Paduke neck. Uh, we've got hip shot locking tuners, ebony board, stainless steel frets, uh, and it's quite a chunky neck. Specifically, the old guitar was quite a thin and thin neck, whereas I wanted something a bit chunkier because um, I play a lot more kind of riffy stuff on this guitar. So it's nice to have a fat neck to grab hold of. Uh, pickups wise, I've done something a bit different where I used to have double humbucker setup, whereas now I've got a mini humbucker in the neck and it's voiced quite similarly to um, my favorite pickup that I use normally, which is a Seymour Duncan 59. So it's nice, it's got a bluesy bite to it, which I really love. Um, and then in the bridge, this is this set is called the Henchman Humbucker set from Chapman Guitars. And this is kind of spec inspired by one of my favorite humbuckers that I've got in most of my other guitars, especially visually, but also um, it sounds a lot like a sort of PRS HFS. So it's, it's a nice blend between aggressive and warm. Uh, which is something I really like now. And then it, as well as that, it's just a, it's a T-type sort of body. It's got a brass block in the trim. Uh, and I got rid of the Floyd Rose because they're a nuisance for me nowadays. So that's, that's this, this is the new guitar. I'm incredibly proud, uh, incredibly proud of it. Um, yeah, really love the way it sounds. If I show you my old one, this, this, this guitar basically goes on every tour that I, I do because it's a very comfortable guitar to play. I've played it longer than any of the others. It's even got mud on it, uh, which is definitely important when you're playing a festival. Um, but yeah, this is, this is like, uh, this is a quilt maple veneer, Alder body. This is heavily inspired by a Nuno Betancourt Washburn N4, because he's like one of my biggest guitar heroes. So it's kind of, I aged it and beat it up. This is actually all genuine pick scratching that's happened. I've, it's actually about two mil deep is this hole in the, in the top. Uh, Seymour Duncan 59 in the neck, bare knuckle war pig in the bridge, Floyd Rose. I've blocked it off and I've put a futon brass block in the back with uh, some of these intense strength springs. So it's, it's completely blocked off now. I've got a trem stop in there because I don't use the trem anymore. But yeah, basically with these two guitars, I have more or less everything that I, that I want. And I've used them on all my recordings and all the gigs. So that would be them. So thank you, Chapman Guitars, for allowing me to do this again. Something else to add uh, is that there is also a baritone version of this new guitar, um, which this is 25 and a half inch scale and the baritone is 28 inch. Uh, basically in Tosca and Dorje now, I use a lot of baritone tunings for a lot of the new stuff. So yeah, you can get this one in both uh, normal scale length and a 28 inch baritone in a nice sort of crimson red color. So 